how to treat dry eyes. Dryness of the eyes is a common symptom and sign of Sjogren's syndrome. Patients mostly describe dryness as itching or irritation or as a foreign body sensation and sometimes blurry or change in their vision. The lacrimal gland secretion from your eyes will decrease over the years and you will start feeling these changes that can become very upsetting. The care of the eyes should always involve an eye doctor or an ophthalmologist. Why? Because before you start any treatment, it is important to have an idea about if your lacrimal glands function, how much tear do you produce, and also the severity of your dryness, and if that dryness cause any damage to your eyes. Now here, I will share tips that can help you minimize your tear evaporation. I will explain you different types of artificial tears and make you understand what is the difference between them. But also, very important, I will share with you when is the time to involve an ophthalmologist to manage your eye dryness better. Rheumatologist on call.com. How to minimize tear evaporation? Tears are very important to protect your eyes and your vision. Patients with Sjogren's syndrome have to pay a special attention to their eyes. Since the tear production is decreased, the first step that you should take is to minimize the tear evaporation. Now, how can you do that? You can use large frame glasses that can decrease the tear evaporation. You can avoid prolonged periods of time of driving. You should avoid prolonged periods in front of the computer because as you sit in front of the computer for many hours, you tend to blink less and the tears tend to evaporate faster. You should avoid spending a lot of time in windy outdoors areas, but also you should avoid spending a lot of times in dry indoor areas. If you live in an area with a lot of smoke or working in an environment with a lot of smoke, your eyes will suffer. If you are a smoker, stop smoking, as smoking will irritate your eyes further. Like I said in my previous video about treating dry mouths, you should consider to buy and start using a humidifier in the room. As I said, if you put an ultrasonic humidifier in the room, that will be helpful. I will put a link in the description of this video of a humidifier that I use in my house. There are many humidifiers, but you should consider to buy one that is ultrasonic that will break the water into small particles that will get deeper and deeper into your airways, but also moisturize your eyes. You also have to know that there are some medications like antihistamine, for example, Benadryl or hydroxyzine, or antiemetics like scopolamine, opioids, famotidine, muscle relaxants, many antidepressants and antipsychotic medications that can worsen the eye dryness. And you should go over the list of medication that you have with your physician and decide if you really need to use this medication or you can at least reduce the dose of medication that you take. Now, let's talk about artificial tears. Artificial tears and lubricants are generally available without a prescription over the counter. They may be in the form of liquid eye drops, gels, or ointments. Now, gel and ointments often blur your vision during their use and may be particularly useful if you apply them in the evening before sleep. Now, what do artificial tears contain? Usually, artificial tears contain a couple of components, a form of cellulose or high concentration of hyaluronic acid. This is the major component of many of the artificial tears, and those are beneficial to maintain viscosity. They also contain spreading agents, which will help the aqueous layer to spread over the cornea and prevent evaporation and they also contain preservatives, which prevent bacterial contamination 
and which will also prolong the shelf life of the products. However, some of the preservatives, for example, benzalconium, can aggravate eye disease. When to use artificial tears? If you experience eye dryness, you may start with over-the-counter products and try a few brands to see which one will be the most helpful for you. You may use artificial tears as many times as you want and indefinitely. But if you need to use artificial tears with preservatives and you need to use them more than four times a day, then it is time to try to use preservative-free tears. If the eye dryness is not improved with artificial drops, then you should be evaluated for more advanced treatments by an eye doctor or an ophthalmologist. And you should discuss with them about preservatives free artificial tears or lubricating ointments at night time. The ophthalmologist can also evaluate you and assess the need of prescription medications such as topical cyclosporin or restasis or Xydra or topical steroids or other interventions. Now, what products did you try? Which one was helpful for you? Leave me a comment in the bottom of this video. If you want to learn more, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and press the notification button to inform you when my next video is released. Don't forget that these videos are for educational purposes only and will not substitute medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. You should always talk to your physician for diagnosis and treatment regarding your specific medical needs. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.